As our friends, welcome. We're playing some Timeless, the most powerful format on Arena. Almost everything's legal. And we stole a deck from Aspiring Spike. Aspiring Spike, obviously a huge modern player. If you love modern, go watch Aspiring Spike. Uh, he's the number one for modern for sure. But has been tipping it a little bit on Timeless too. This is a very modern-esque deck. Uh, this is modeled off of Aspiring Spike's modern version of his deck. This is a Jeskai Surveil deck. Yes, Surveil deck. Uh, of course, you all know Thoughtbound Phantom, right? Uh, Phantasm, one mana for a 2-2 two -two defender. Whenever you Surveil, put a counter on it. As long as three more counters on it, it can attack as a defender. So like a, a Surveil Tarmogoyf. Of course, Dragon Rage Channeler also Surveils. Uh, but the big ones here, of course, are the new lands. Of course, the new lands Surveil, uh, Meticulous Archive, and Thundering Falls. Getting synergy out of your lands is pretty awesome. Uh, we also have Enhanced Surveillance here. Oh, neighborhood detectives, huh? To add it for an enchantment, you may look at an additional two cards each time you surveil. So now every time you surveil, looking at three cards, uh, which is pretty insane. And you can sacrifice and shuffle your library, which is kind of cool. And then once you've got uh, a surveil effect going with surveillance in play, now you get the breach combo going with Mishra's Bobble, where you play a Bobble, uh, you play it, you surveil three off Dragon Rage Channeler or off of whatever else, and then you get to bin three cards, cast it again for free, cast your whole deck, and just and then cast the Thassus Oracle too. So kind of like Breach combo going here as well. Uh, also playing Pressure Cruise, bunch of good rule spells here, on Holy Heat, Swords of Plowshares, etc., etc. Pretty wild looking deck, honestly. So we're gonna give it a spin and see how it goes, and uh, see if it's uh, see if it's doing anything crazy here, right? So let's do it, and let's get right into the games brought to you by BCWSupplies.com. Best sleeves in the market, right there. The Elite 2 deck card sleeves. My cube is in those sleeves. My Pro Deck is in those sleeves. I got BCW, Mulberry, Elite 2, uh, Matte Fronts coming out my ears in my house. They're everywhere. And check them out, of course, that's my deck box, binders, card sorting trays. You name it, they got it. BCWsupplies.com. You can use promo code JIM10. 10% off your order at BCWsupplies.com. Buy in bulk, get 10 back of his sleeves. It's like already get a bulk discount. With the bulk discount and the JIM10 discount, it's like five, six dollars a pack, which is insane for sleeves. Buy a bulk, put them in your closet, use them when you need them, don't buy them at the event, and of course, all of that stuff's great too. Check out bcwsupplies.com. Again, promo code JIM10, 10% off your order. bcwsupplies.com. Let's go. Chat. Coming out with me. Chat says that the uh, BCW image needs to be updated with a Vayner Burr instead of an Arc Light Phoenix. Fair. What's up? All right. So, good old Counterspell. We got two lands, Channeler Heat, Counterspell Consider. We can keep this one to draw, but this is fine. Let it ride. Wooded freaking Foothills. Spell for sure. All right, so we're going to jam our Channeler here. It might die. We could maybe, like, hold up for turn two Spell Pierce Channeler, but, like, we have Counterspell anyway, so it doesn't make a lot of sense. Thanks, Psycho. Appreciate that. Let's get our steam vents here. You're not gonna stifle me, are you? Gonna give me the old stifle? You all want to uh, punch here? Right, here we go. Steam vents. Pay two. Channeler go. Counter spells for days. Couple can trips. Spell pierce. They go end step fetch and they kill my channeler. It's like the worst case scenario, but what are you, gonna do? you know, no companion here. No information to go on. They're going to get a tapped hedge mage and do a little bit of their own surveilling. Sure. That's cool. Bidding a brainstorm. Okay. Delta. Are they a show and tell deck, perhaps? Hopefully. We have a million counter spells in our hands, so. We got a clock and counter spells. That's what you want to get show and tell for sure. Delta Crack. Another Surveil Land. Chat says, in Modern, Spike added a single copy of an offer you can't refuse to speed the combo up. That's kind of cool. Uh, we draw an Underworld Breach. So we're going to shock this in. We're going to attack for once. I go here. We have End Step. Consider. Try and find our Delirium. Um, end Step. Lorien Revealed. Sure. Again, looks like Show and Tell to me. So, yeah, Counter Spells out the Wazoo here. We want to find some more lands, too. We need to find a few more things here, honestly, but here's a thought seize. Um, let me just spell pierce this. We have to spell pierce and consider, so... Let's spell pierce and surveil. But I'd rather consider first. I surveil, then draw, and then I get to surveil again. Otherwise, I'm going to surveil, 
And then waste the survey. Yeah, let's do this. Let's consider first. Actually, consider first. Surveil off this thing. Uh, been a creature. Surveil off this thing. Uh, I actually want the land. Keep the land. Draw the land. And then we're going to spell Pierce the Thoughtseize. Surveil again. Bobble. Just bin that. So now we're at full delirium ready, which is awesome. We have Bobble for Breach. We're going to shock and assemble the team. Sure. So I think we're mostly in Delver mode here. Um, all right. We draw a meticulous archive, which is pretty good here, I think, right? So we've got our delirium, our counterspell. Obviously, if they have, like, show and tell land thought sees, then we're, we're going to lose. Actually, no, wait, we, have, we, have, we, have two, we have two things. It doesn't actually matter. So let's just archive. Archive reveals a bobble. Just bin it. I think. Just rather take the card immediately next turn, attack for three, and just say go. I thought we have Lurus too. It's just like, Lurus is just so gross. This card's unbelievable. Thoughtseize. So this is going to resolve. So they probably have Thoughtseize, Land, Show and Tell. Uh, we should let this resolve because we have Counterspell anyway. So we have two of them. It's totally fine. We are running out of things to do, obviously, but. Take Counterspell. They go to kill my channeler here kind of stinks a little bit, but what are you gonna do? We run a thought this is again. I mean uh, at this point we're just gonna counter it, right? Because we, we want to surveil and try to find another counter spell, so. Alright, yes, this sucks, but I mean it does increase the clock. If I let this resolve, um they go to eight. And they're, like, going to die faster, but we only have one bolt in our deck. Yeah, we're just going to counter this and surveil. All right, counter this, surveil, thoughtbound phantasm, phantasm. That is true, we can put Breach off show and tell, but that means they have to, like, put in a card in for another card, too. Should have been this. Been this. Counter that. Play Mystic Sanctuary. Gross. Man, they are really doing it here. All right, we draw a breach. So we can't put in breach off the show and tell and counter if they want to do like a mission stuff. Um, this turn we could also just breach and like bobble a bunch of times and just try and find a counter spell that way as well. It's an interesting uh, course of action too. Not a big breach player, I'm not going to lie. I've not cast this card very much. And I was, it was a huge player in modern for a while. So my the lines are not exactly super clear to me, but uh, just like breaching and like drawing four cards off bobble seems pretty good. Um, they are going to thought seize me though. So like, they're going to thought seize again. Although they have to have like a show and tell and a card in their hand as well, which is like certainly possible, but. Hmm. So I guess we just do this. It's Um, just like not sure how I want to sequence this. Um, I'm just gonna fetch like this. Whatever, right up to. I don't know what's right here exactly, but whatever. Just play breach. Surveil once. Bit of phantom. Let's cast bobble. And once bin, let's get rid of a. I don't know, strand pierce counter spell. Uh, business. All right, and then we're gonna breach, and bobble again, land, consider. Only one bobbles. Just get rid of one of these. Bin that. Uh, we never talk. I should talk. I should talk myself, obviously, but. Spell Pierce. I have killed my Delirium, unfortunately, because <laughs> uh, I'm kind of an idiot. Um, that's fine, though. We can just try to get it again. So let's just get rid of a Bobble, a Brainstorm, and a Creature. But I want the Spell Pierce. Yeah, I'm fucking up. <laughs> uh, this is a hard thing to do for the first time. Uh, under the rope, while streaming and talking it all out. Um... 
So yeah, we screwed up. Uh, we only get to talk for one. But that being said, like, we're drawing a bunch of cards. We're drawing Spell Pierce also. But I guess, like, then they're going to thought he's my Spell Pierce. Oh my god, what am I doing? This is so confusing! Uh, okay. I'm just going to say go. We're going to sack the Breach. We now have, like, four draws? Three draws. We draw Spell Pierce. Brainstorm. Sword Supply Shares. Again, they thought sees me. The problem is, like, I can spell pierce it, but it's, like, not even that good. Um, if I... It's also, like, we don't know what their show and tell is. If it's, like, a, an omniscience that I want to put in breach and, counter, and, and cast counterspell. But... Brainstorming here is, is they're gonna cast show and tell. So we, we like shit. Um, so they're probably let this let this counter and just cast show and tell, and then hopefully they can just I can just sort splashers, whatever it is. I'm not gonna play this. I mean, they had literally everything, but. Alright. Yeah, I mean, I guess we're just dead. I I'm sure I played this game horribly, honestly. I just don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Um, so, like. We could swords this. This doesn't, this doesn't matter, though, with all the cards they get. We're just we're super dead. Alright, whatever. Alright. So, like. If I knew what they were doing, I could have left up the breach and just, and just got counter spell off the off the and then breach in counter the attracts with the uh, with the breach. But I didn't know what they're gonna put in because they put different attracts. It's, it's 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 bad that way too. So like, I don't know. Um, like their hand was the actual stones too, by the way. Just you have it. But I think that I could have like probably navigated around it. I don't know, honestly. All right, let's bring in um, test talents. Spell Pierce. Um, let's cut the bolt and the heats. And probably like a swords. Needle, heat, bolt, scolding, disenchant. Yeah, let's try this. Definitely possible, but it's too dumb for this deck. Uh, Alright, so we have a channeler. Channeler, Brainstorm, and Spell Pierce. We can keep this. Keep this. Alright, so let's get our uh, our Steam Vents. Take two. Cash Channeler. So go. Spell Pierce and Brainstorm's pretty good. Just trying to get our crews going. Only three crews. I guess Breach sort of like crews too, because like you use his cards in the graveyard to draw cards, so... Delta. Another brainstorm, too. Um, I think I want to brainstorm before playing a land. Try to find fetch land. Let's brainstorm. Surveil. Second spell pierce. I think I want to keep that one. I, I'm like super in incentivized to want to just bin cards because I have crews, too. But spell pierce is pretty damn good, so we're going to keep that one. Test talents also. It's kind of gas. But like Swords of Plowshares and maybe a land. Play Steam Vents and Taps. Attack for one of Spell Pierce up and Brainstorm up. It's kind of funny because like 
I think I want to put the the swords on top so I can I can surveil surveil it away if I cast a spell, which I probably will. So, a lot of tough sequencing stuff here for sure. I mean, either way, I'm gonna cast spell pierce or brainstorm, so I get to, I'll get to surveil the swords away regardless. So. Sewers is here. Gonna land, sure. A lot harder than burn deck, that's for damn sure. Take two. Alright, so they passed the turn. I mean, I'm gonna cast this brainstorm, right? Like, I mean, they they shocked. They could have. I, mean, I don't think they're playing bowmasters, are they? I don't even know. I don't know the list that well. Whatever. She has brainstorm. Be pretty sad if they bowmasters here, obviously, but I don't think Show and Tell likes play bowmasters. So, all right, cool. So he draws some stuff. Put back the other swords and a land. Uh, we'll draw swords, fetch away the swords in the land. Fortunately, we're not really getting in for beats, uh, but... Alright, let's play fetch land. We're not really getting in for uh, a lot of damage here, but let's just see. I mean, obviously our hand's juiced, so let's just attack for one. Intent being to get a surveil land, probably, but we'll see. Let's just say go. They did shock the land in, so like, what are they? They just, just nothing, stone nothing. Okay, cool. So maybe they have counter spell, and they're they're discarding a hand size. Okay, that's cool. All right, so one step fetch and get a blue white surveil land. I think. Nope, they have a land. Sure. So crack this thing. Get an archive. Surveil. Bidding almost anything here. Sure. Yeah, I just want to get more cards in here for Cruise, so bin that and draw a Consider. Pretty good draw. Surveil. Hollow Tower. I want to keep that, I think. I want to play Untap Land, so keep that. And shock this in. Only instant land so far, but that's fine. We should attack for one and say go. It test Talent Spell Pierce up, and then we can Cruise next turn. I think given the quality of our hand, we can like afford to not be going that fast, so. Hmm. They're gonna main phase a Veil of Summer. Uh, pretty happy to spell pierce in this, right? Because if we tap their lands, they might as well have countered anyway, so just spell pierce this. Could have rituals and stuff too, but. Let's pin a card. Let's see what happens here. Land show and tell. Nope. All right, it's so untap. Draw land. That's fine. Um, we're gonna cruise. Want to leave land instant? That's possible, obviously. So let's do that. Let's go before playing the land. Yeah, because I want to surveil land. So let's uh, pop in here. We'll leave the spell pierce. And oh, I missed it. There we go. These spell pierce delta. Recall, draw three. Surveil. Just bin channel, it's just for lyrium, so. Draw three lands. Somebody's playing a prank on me. Well, that was pretty gross. Uh sure, I guess. Um let's attack for three. And I guess we're just playing a surveil land saying go. We still have two counter spells up. That sucked, obviously, but yeah, we have no Mystic Sanctuaries, right? Yeah, one Mystic Sanctuary seems like a real uh a real easy one to add. Um we're down to a 60% chance of drawing land, which is hilarious, but uh I have 
of one Thundering Fall. I'm just going to play a fetch land, actually. It's like, just to play around, like, I don't know, their spell pierces, right, right more stuff. Like, just say, let's do this. End step brainstorm. That's fine. Cards back. Draw. Okay. I mean, still do counter spells. Obviously, the spell pierce is softly getting softer, but they're gonna main phase crack a fetch for a maze. Just say go. This is awesome for us. Crack this thing. It's funny how like our hand looks so intimidating, but it's just freaking a bunch of lands, but. Let's get a Thundering Falls. Survey says, Thassa's Oracle. Uh, we can bend that one. <sighs> There's like two lands left. Like, we're playing 17 lands total. This is ridiculous. All right. Um, yeah, I mean, like, going to feel pretty bad if they just uh, can kill us next turn, but here's our channeler. You probably need to be to buy Luris, honestly. Here's a dig through time with one mana available. We have to spell pierce this. There's just no choice. It's like, it's, the pierce is getting worse and worse anyway, so I just spell pierce this. Surveil. Enhanced Surveillance. I don't think we want that. Alright, let's take three. Alright, so, I mean, it just by Luris. Like, we have fetchable lands left, right? We have, uh, two islands. Yeah, sure. So let's play... Play Flood of Strand by Luris and Sigo. Yeah, I mean, like, obviously we're pretty all in here, but... What are we gonna do? We got one left. I mean, they're going to end step cast Veil of Summer. Resolves. That's probably bad for us, right? Because they could have just Veiled and get Show and Zell. So, like. Alright. I mean. I imagine we're just dead. But. Here's Test the Talents. Is this going to work? Probably not. Surveil. Then why the hell did they freaking end step the Veil of Summer? <laughs> what are they doing? People are so crazy. Wow. How did that even happen? Okay, sure. <laughs> Wait, yeah, we did we we counted the dig end step too, and they could have veiled in response, right? I thought that was going on, folks. I'm I'm lost my mind. I'm just like. Woo, boy, we're a different, different, different world. Um, our hand is fine. We can keep this. Um, huh. Is it like... For the draw? It's not great, honestly, but... I think we keep... It's pretty bad. Like... So, like, what are we going to get? Like, turn one Phantom, turn two Scryland? This seems terrible. Uh, they're on the play. So we got to be loving this. It's mulligan. Oh, my God. This is even worse. We got the surveillance, but, like, it's... All right. I mean, they should have turned three unopposed show and tell if we're on the draw. So, like, we should have Mulligan again. Like, we, like what are we going to do here? Like, play two creatures and die? All right, just Mulligan. All right, so, yeah, all right, whatever. <sighs> all right, we're going to keep. Goodbye, surveillance. Uh... Sure. I mean, like, this is no way we ever win, unfortunately, but sure. Whatever. Fine. You got me. 
Obviously, we'll take one of those, uh, the six, the seven or six card hand, and give him the option, but. If our opponent, if our opponent plays even remotely carefully here, I just don't see how we can ever win, but. Phantom? Alright, sure. Got a ways to go on this one, but. I think, I think some of those hands are keepable on the play, I think, but on the draw, it's like turn three is the turn we get to, I need to have interaction up, we just didn't have. I guess, like. Maybe they don't play into a spell pierce. Maybe like one land up, but still seems kind of risky, you know. The problem is the stand is no clock, so like if they just have show and tell on turn three. Yeah, we're, we're, we're just dead on turn three here. Like, I guess we can go Thoughtbound Shock and Surveil next turn. But like, I mean, they have all the time in the world to put together anything they want. They have Thought Seasons, Veil of Summers, counter spells, like. Here's Phantoms, they go. Hopefully they get arrogant and just like go for it, which would be really, really foolish, but. Just some idiot playing Thoughtbound Phantom, you know? There's, there's no meaning, I lied. <laughs> Wrong button. Uh, Alright, so Thundering Falls. Surveil 1. It's an archive. This thing needs to have three counters on it to attack. Oh my god, it's so far away. Uh, just dump this. We need force the will, folks. Instant brainstorm, sure. Like, them having cast a tutor and a brainstorm and not having show and tell at protection next turn is like almost impossible I feel like so shit I just spilled water everywhere make a little noise here huh player one asks hey Jim there's gonna cast show and tell with no backup? What is going on? So we spell beers or counter spell? You're spell beers, right? Counter spells more mana efficient, but um let's see, I just gotta cast spell beers, I think. Alright. Maybe should have like like ten show and tells or whatever. Player one says any justice on learning how to draft. Watch Bronze Mythic. My show about drafting. Play a breeding pool. Okay. Uh, untap. Draw another phantom. This sucks. Um. Just, like, play phantom and say go, I guess. And we'll, like, end step brainstorm, I guess, if, if they don't, we don't cast counterspell. I can main phase it, too. This card's obviously a lot worse when you are, uh... When you are uh, on a mulligan of four. Mirror, I'll reset up. Thanks so much. Gonna get back. Assemble the team, not show and tell. Also interesting. Just gonna say go. Usually you don't want to end set the brainstorm, but like, we kind of need a man, I feel like. That was pretty good. Uh, that being said, the cruise is great. Maybe we should have two, have two, have two counter spells. Bob's George like not attacking at all, you know. Like, but back to, I want to draw the flooded strand. All right, let's play a flooded strand. I mean, now I have two counter spells. We just say go. But means like again, like our freaking, our, uh, our clock is embarrassing. This is fine. Whatever. Assemble the team. I think. It's like the Mono Tutor for the, 30, the top 30 of your deck. No, no, no. Felicron. Phantasm. Now Nicole walks in and says, what the hell is that? <laughs> what are you doing? Um, this is fine. We need to surveil, like, a bunch more times to attack. Or 
like, that was they can get Veil of Summer, but, like, I have two counter spells. So, like, countering the Veil is the same as countering the Tutor, but, like, it makes them use more mana. So, oh my god, Mystic Sanctuary. Hate Mystic Sanctuary. Alright, sure. Put Show and Tell on top. Alright. Uh, let's go back and fetch. Get a Surveil Land. Bin second. Oh, so far. Wait, I, I, that was there. Duh. Um, I know it didn't. I just fetched. What is. What's going on? Freaking Scry Bug. Surveil Bug. Um. I mean, I have four cards in the bin. We just dump this, I think. Alright. These grow. That's five cards in the bin now. We draw a Hollowed Fountain. Still can't freaking attack. Um. They go, I guess. Here's show and tell. I'm going to attempt to test it out the show and tell. If they have two pieces of backup, we're dead. It just freaking resolves? What is happening? Um, our opponent must be new to this deck because I, I feel like they just I what what is going on? Like, they had everything. You log into four, they cast a bunch of tutors. Like how what? How do we even end up here? There is omniscience, Atraxa, Atraxa, Crosion Grip. Wow. Wow. What a world. All right, round two. Let's go. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so we are on a one lander on the draw. Double Phantom. We have a Surveillance also. The Oracle's... I mean, the Oracle's, like, pretty bad. Bob will come find a land, obviously. But, you know, it's, like, a little tough, too. I think his hand's a little bit too bad. It's like a double mull here. But it's like a mulligan here anyway, so... Yeah, it's mulligan this. Sure. I mean, keep this ship a land. It's pretty easy, I guess, so... Alright, that's fine. Not great, but is what it is. Opponent's name is Sin, and they have a Devil Avatar. Opponent's really getting into it. They're playing Rakdos too? Hope so. Yep. Blood Crypt all day. Here's the channeler. The problem is now we have our own channeler, but like we they just like we played our channeler, they play their channeler and just kill it or whatever. Uh so Could be inclined to just like sort supply shares here and then next turn channeler plus consider. Um just to make sure we get our surveil value. Get it surveillance first, too. I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna source this. We'll just get, get a blue white land, source this. So let's get a hollow fountain, take two, swords it up. Get off my plane. Shock in a second crypt. Swift spear. Oh, okay. And lightning bolt me. Damn, that's aggressive. Uh, sure. I didn't see that coming, honestly. Now I'm even more or less inclined to want to cast a shock for a channeler. Three cards left. We have 12 life. Uh, we've got instant land in the graveyard. Could just brainstorm for a removal spell. This surveillance card is pretty... Yeah, I'll just guess Brainstorm. Fire Brainstorm. There you go. Alright, so let's dump... Uh, land... Surveillance? Or land... Land. I think land surveillance. Don't be stupid. Ship them. Fetch shock. Heat. Now we're at nine on this deck. It's pretty burny, so we'll see how, how deep in the burn sauce they really are. They're playing Bob in the Night and stuff or not. Here's a swamp, probably not. So Oh, yep, they're burning. Alright, static discharge. Light up the stage. 
We're playing Play With Fire also. So we played a Rockless Burn deck earlier. Uh, did a lot to pretty different than this, though. All right, so we have Land, Channeler. I mean, like, I guess Fetch Island. Consider just Cruise, maybe, and just, like, try and... I mean, they already have this freaking Play With Fire. We're, like, pretty close to being dead, probably, but... Bump of the Night is on Arena. Just played it a little while ago. Love that card. Surveil Oracle of the Bit. Consider Counterspell. So we only have... We have seven in the bin. So we can still, we can still cast Cruise here. All right, let's keep the Counterspell. Keep Counterspell. That's eight in the bin, actually. And then we're going to Cruise. I think if they... Uh, if they use their play of fire on my channeler, I'm probably like happy overall. So. Wait, what? Yeah, I wanna freaking do some stuff. So let's leave in um, probably creature for delirium. All right, surveil another counter. I mean, counter spells are huge here, right? Like. Being able to counter a burn spell to stay alive is pretty cool. Whoosh. All right, so uh, we'll keep counter spell. Draw three. And see go. Could obviously, I'm obviously dead to a lot of stuff here. They're going to upkeep, play with fire, and go for the kill. Don't top a card here, please. They topped the card. Wow. Somehow, some way, we're still alive. Inconceivable. I don't know how you top a card that doesn't kill me, but sure. Um, we have Counterspell on Holy Heat. We're taking another one next turn. So we can't take any more damage at all. We just die. Archive reveals Underworld Breach. Uh, it's not really doing too much here, I think. Let's get rid of that. It's an enchantment, too. All right, I mean, so we get Nug for one again next turn, and then they get a 2-2 Menace, which is fine, obviously. 1-17. to 17. What does it get? get? A good deck to get into Timeless, if you're unfamiliar with it. Um, I mean, the blue, the blue, we just played a Ragnus Burn deck. That's pretty awesome. If you missed it, you should go watch it, but... Definitely different than this list. I think probably better, but I mean, what do I know, you know? But, uh, all right, so Pawn's playing Rakdos Burn. We're going to want the Sword Supply Shares. Probably need to, like, cut a lot of, like, the cutesy combo stuff, honestly. Bring in, like, a Spell Pierce. It's funny, like, Test Talents, that's how we find, too. Bring in Heat, too. And cut, like, the Surveillances, the Oracle... It seems like comboing would be very, very hard against them. You just want to, like, beat them with pure card advantage and stuff. Um, let's cut the breaches. And... Just, like, kill their things, counter their burn spells. Play, play Cruise. That's, like, our that's our plan here. It's funny, Scolding isn't bad either, honestly. I guess I can't counter a stupid Saga. Counters, uh... Suspear, Bowmasters... I think one scolding is fine. Let's try this. On the play. Ugh. Sure. Hand's actually pretty good. Uh, you can go turn one, like, bolt your thing. Or not, turn one phantom. Turn two phantom falls, I guess. Yeah. Um, just get island probably. Stay alive. Sure, I like that. All right. This is not exactly the best hand of all time. It's our double thought bound phantom hand, but we'll uh, try and make it work. Here we are. So spear, sure. And so, so I'm very happy we boarded out our. Uh, our combo stuff, they were just crypt, so that's cool. All right, so counter okay, so fan number two and thundering falls. Did 
Delta. Let me keep that. All right. We got three threes. Can't attack yet, but we can fetch a surveil land next turn. And now we have counterspell up and bolt and brainstorm. All right, isn't that bad? Probably pretty good hand against burn, honestly. Here's Kamano. They're all in on the uh, on the one mana saga beatdown creatures. No land. Oh, this game's over, folks. Pack it up. Pack it up, folks. Pack it up. We're done. Here's a Delta. Um, I mean, you're probably just leaving up Counterspell and getting a fetch, getting a Surveil land, right? So I should get it now, so they can't bolt in response. Since archive, we obviously wasted the fetch for the brainstorm. I think it's fine though. So here's a sword supply shares. I don't think I want that. I want to find like a cruise or something or more surveilly cards. All right, let's take up. So you have counterspell or bolt plus brainstorm up. They find land number two, which is bad because they have five spells in their hand, but <clears throat> we have plenty of fetch lands in our deck too, so finding another copy is not too, not too hard. Here's a Swiss Spear. Uh, we're going to counter this. It's a 2 3 Swiss Spear. And I just really want to cast Counter this turn, I think, so. Just cash in. Four in the bin now. Okay, here's the Reckoner Raid. All right. Is this like a budget, like, burn deck in Timeless? Thoughtbound Phantasm number three. All right, it's Brainstorm time. Don't lock me, please. We draw Cruise, Heat, Heat. Uh, so we're going to have five cards in the bin. No, uh, no way to, to fix the draw here, unfortunately. So we are brainstorm locked, I suppose, but. Should I cast our Phantom, I guess, right? So let's put back. Let's put back Cruise and Heat. Whatever, sure. And then just play a Phantom and kill this thing and say go. Right. I mean, we're at 14 with two 4 4s in play. We'll eventually find a way to surveil. Um. I wonder how aggro they'll be with the Tormat script. Trying to keep it from cruising. Like, I could have maybe left the cruise on top and cruise next turn. Might have been wrong. Or you light up the stage. That's, that's adorable. Reckon Array plus light up the stage. Alright, well. They find Thoughtseize. That's fine, obviously. We have Lurus, too. We can't even cast it yet, but... You are my 2-2. Two -two. That's fine. Two cards left were a 13. I've seen worse. Um, this is going to be a 2-2 two -two Menace. Also gives Vehicles Menace. Very important to note. That's a, that's a important uh, important factor. Um, U -G -L -Y. You ain't got no alibi. You ugly. It's by Lurus. I don't think even Heat matters much, so... By Lurus and say go. Uh, we currently have no Graveyard that's relevant, but it's a lifelinker, so whatever, I guess. I mean, ideally, we get to cruise next turn. They don't, they don't crit me, so. There's a swamp. Are they also in Byluris territory? Nope. Eidolon of the Great Rebel. Well, it doesn't stop cruise, so. Just dump it all. Give me all of it. Imagine getting to cruise with the Tormod script in play. What a feeling! Counterspell, Brainstorm, Sword Supply shares. Alright. Uh, still a way to surveil. But... Eidolon's obviously gotta go. We just say go here, right? Like, we don't really have a reason to uh, to do anything else. We can just, like, Swords the Eidolon. Heat the, the Captain. And just, like, Brainstorm next turn. Sure. 
I don't want to brainstorm before I, before I remove the idol on, take more damage. So like, if we're gonna brainstorm for a land, it's gotta be swords first, then brainstorm. Uh, doesn't feel necessary. Like, should I say go? I leave a counter spell also. So. Bloodstained Mire by Luris, sure. Probably saving Counterspell for Luris at this point, then. First Blood! Seems fine, right? Uh, yeah. They have a shock they want to cast, they take two. It's fine. Honestly, totally fine. So, let's kill this. And then... Probably just heat the etching. I don't need heat the etching, actually. Like... Let's get exiled if I do it. Yeah, sure. I'll just kill this too. Whatever. Kill everything. This is fine. We're in an unbelievable shape. We're nine life with a, a four four in play, a lurus on counter spell. So draw channeler. A little awkward because I want to. Um, I mean, I just so I want to counter lurus, but like. So I could channel or brainstorm and try to find a land for counterspell. Sure, let's do that. That also allows the phantom to attack, to attack too, so. Here's brainstorm surveil. Another cruise. Uh, I think it's gone. More surveilling to do, so draw three. We miss on the freaking land. That sucks. All right, put back. Bobble, bobble. So you get to cast Lurus and play a one drop again. That sucks. We're going to consider Surveil twice, attack for seven. Oh, more than that, actually. So let's keep this on top and probably just play it for more Surveils. Yeah, sure. Is eight. So Phantom Phantasm a lot better with the uh, spin this thing too. I'll put the channeler in place. So it goes to eight. Bobble. Beaver top card. It's a reckoner raid. So they have Lurus plus a one drop and then a raid. So we could have countered the uh, the removal spell earlier to keep our other phantasm alive. Like, I think that's just not a good idea because, uh, like, if phantasm is good, we're like already in good shape. So maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But so this be a reckoner raid. I can't attack. Oh, that's a black. Oh, sure. A flood strand. Sure. I mean, they're just like basically dead. They have a chump block here. I guess. Um. I guess they have infinite chump blockers in theory. So like, yeah. You could play Arlurus. Probably Tormod script in response. No, I can't. Also, if I try to attack and they crit me anyway. Sure. Let's play Lurus. We're in this awkward spot where, like, if I attack and they crit me in mid-combat, they can kill my thing. So let's just, like, make them use it now. So let's get... Also, we only have pain... Ugh. Going to five is pretty scary. I'm not gonna lie. Um...
They crit me, block Channeler with Lurus. Phantasm blocks to Spear. Alright, whatever. I got to do this. Play Lurus. The problem is the, 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 the Channeler attack is forced, so like, they get to gain life and block, and it's really bad for us, so just attack for eight. Um, we have a lifelinker now too, which is nice, so... They can obviously chump block and recast. The thing is, the Ray Red's full anyway, so... Should I take the, take the whole shot? Wow. A lot of crazy opponents today. Just go, they just, they just don't care. It's like, yeah, let's just go, I'll take it, whatever, sure. Go to three, I don't care. Yeah, whatever, let's go. Love it. Love the gusto. Love the gusto today. In the tank. Record Raid Prowess. This is from their hand, not from Lurus. I guess it means they're not casting this uh, Suspear. Thanks, Shadow. Great time with that follow button. If you're watching on YouTube, take a second, like the video, leave a comment, support the comment. They have a, a skewer of the critics for my... Am I just dead? They just like... Well, I mean, I would be dead if they'd freaking played this thing first. All right. Well, opponent is uh, giving us a chance to win here, uh, which is cool. I appreciate that. Uh, they have a blocker. We got a two. That seems worse than chump blocking. I'm just going to... Take one next turn also. Ugh. Pogo just killed us, obviously, and it chose not to. Which is cool, I guess. It's not to keep playing. Uh, what's our best draw? Like, Cantrip, Cantrip, Mool Spell, Delirium. Probably not Treasure Cruise. Um, yeah, we're just pretty dead, I think. All right. Yeah, I mean, I it's sure. Like, I don't know what happened this game. Yeah, you know? this burn deck seemed pretty good, honestly. Like, I don't know if their list is good, but is there a world where Arkiba Reckoner Raid is better than Ragavan in this format? Like, it's kind of funny. <laughs> Just like guarantee two damage as a beater, rather than this carver just dies the bowmasters. Probably gonna block this time, I would assume. I merge DOB, so like they have to actually do it, but. Just kill me! Alright, counter it. Surveil, counter, cool. Alright, they put another spell here, I get the delirium. I'm still dead. That doesn't actually matter, so. Alright, whatever. Alright, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I just, we lost that don't play. <laughs> we got beat. Folks, you have my article on CoolStuffInc.com up today. It's a pretty cool one. Uh, thought Season, the World Champ. This is round six of the Pro Tour. I had a really tough Thought Season choice that no one's able to, to give me a good answer on. Um, yeah, my teammates, uh, I wrote 2,000 words on it, talked to a few teammates about it, and there's no consensus on what the right play is. Check it out. Very, really interesting one. And uh, CoolStuffInc.com, check it out. No lands. Great. Let's mulligan again. Mulligan to... Oh, my God. They're so bad. All right, whatever. Keep, 
keep this. GG Stevenson. Giganthus here. Yeah, super interesting article. Crack the Heath. Sacred Foundry Shock Go. Okay. Um, really don't want to cast Channeler. Because it's just going to die to Swords or Bolt or something here. Um, just going to play this and say go. This Bell Pierce, fetch up a, fetch up a blue, red surveil, blue Red Surveil Land, probably. Overgrown Tomb, Sacred Founder. Could this be, could this be a Winona deck? Winona Rider. Alright, so we want a blue red thundering falls. Surveil into Steam Vents to the bin. It's two types or one type of the bin actually. Maybe we should have uh just kept that land actually, but sure. Alright, let's play channeler. Try and fish out a kill spell here. That's true, I guess. When I wanna when I wanna place the R thingy, so Oh no. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Wow, Jim didn't play on the, the most played card in the entire format. Hi, I'm Jim. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, what do you do? I thought Bound Fan that's gonna cast it. Don't think so. You wouldn't dare. Kabu. All right, so there's gonna there's beating the crap out of us. Sure, not a good time for a really bad hand, unfortunately. Um, our hand is actually unplayable. Okay, that's fair. Uh, I'll just say go. Should have kept that third land. I think that's a mistake. No dash. 5-5 five, five, Kavu. Yeah. I was freaking dead. I was like, we go next game. Alright, you got me. I'll tap out. You got me. You win. Alright, uh, so. Uh, a zoo deck. We want sword supply shares. Probably some stern scoldings, honestly, right? Um, maybe a heat. Do we want to... Like, board down on the combo against them, or do we want to shave? I mean, they're a Bowmaster deck. Can, like, shave a cruise. Surveillance. I guess Spell Pierce is kind of bad against them, right? Counter Spell seems a little rough, too, honestly. It's, like, pretty hard to cast effectively. I'm on the play, though, so sure. Let's cut Spell Pierce and just call it a day. All right, let's try this. All right, on the play. Uh, yeah, sure, I guess. Let's keep this. This double tap land's pretty awkward, but... We got lucky you have a 3-3 channeler on turn two, right? It was surveillance, too. This card seems... It's obviously like a combo, but like, it still seems pretty sketchy. All right, so we got a... Third lamb should have been. I mean, we're spinning almost anything here, so been that. Current's barking. Here's a Heath. They go like Death Right Shaman here. I guess we'll just bolt it, right? It's fine. 
She's gonna get a trium and say go. That's probably not optimal, but sure. Uh, all right, so we'll channel her. Bobble, surveil, archive, surveil. Is there a reason to do one first? I don't know. Surveil. Bobble. Graveyard. Bobble. Surveil. Delta. Great. So no chance of delirium, really. Well, let's keep us on top, I think, and just draw a third land. So let's take that. Look at their top card. It is a... Tilt. All right. All right. We obviously had a chance to, to get Delirium that turn, so it wasn't like a total you know, kind of waste. But all right, so we have Thoughtbound Phantasm, Enhanced Surveillance. I mean, you can just play both, I guess. Play Surveillance and the Phantasm. Perhaps I don't need to kill this. Or not. Yeah, sure, just do that. So just go. We can't, we can't fetch up a, a Sryland then, but... Whatever. This card seems kind of bad. Uh -huh. um, so all surveils are now three cards, and I could sacrifice this to exile my grave... or shuffle my graveyard to my library. The thing is, like, we should have no recurring source of surveils. You know, fetch lands and no channelers, so, like... Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess we could just kill the stupid Bowmaster and cast Brainstorm, but I mean, by Luris. Kill this later. This card just seems really bad. Uh, I'm still by Luris, so I go. They missed the land drop, so like, let's just chill. Bolting at Bowmaster feels awful. We'll do it if we have to, obviously, but... Right. Yeah. Okay. Um. So. I guess. Yeah. Sure. Let's bolt this. Cast brainstorm. Draw a channeler. Oh my! God. I think it doesn't even function anymore. Right? Like we have just have no graveyard. We're all in on like the stupid fandom guys. There's Dumblers, I think, right? Alright. Play this as I go. Plan being to fetch up a white blue an archive. Surveil three times. You guys consider also. We're so good at filling our graveyard now, too. So they have a Kavu, probably with Stubborn Denial back up. Okay. Uh, sure. All right, end step. Blue, white, scry Scryland. Surveil, whatever. Consider brainstorm counterspell. I kind of don't want any of these, actually. Just look again. So dump all three of those into the graveyard. Consider. Uh, all these are really bad too. I feel like we're just looking for a stupid phantom. Yeah, 
As predicted, you're stubborn denial. That's fine. Uh, we'll consider in response. Somebody surveils too, right? Like, it's crazy. Uh, another swords? Sure. I mean, this really does burn through the deck. Channeler plus this thing. Alright, so you're gone. Gain some life. All of us resolves. Scry again. Oh, there's a phantasm, so... Let's keep those... It's all on this guy's shoulders. We can't do anything else without him, so... I'm going to stack this and kill this and draw a card, right? No? I mean, it's the only thing I got going on right now, you know? Alright, so sure. And, uh, alright. Here's fam. Just say go. I mean, hopefully they just like get really greedy and try and put a counter on the counters on Minx can boo again. We just swords them. Bigger is always, always better. That's better. I'm just, I'm just here. All right, you win. Yeah. Uh, I'm too dumb for this deck. It's just, just all it is. You know, like, not for me. Yeah, Spying Spike's smart. I'm dumb. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm not saying it. Like, the problem with Timeless is that, like, you just can't put cute cards in your deck, like, ever, for the most part. You just, all your cards, there's just too many powerful cards to be messing around. Like, I mean, this card just didn't do anything. You know, obviously there's a recipe in play, but, you know, and, like, all these cards, like, need extra help and stuff. Like, the combo's kind of cool, but, like, I don't know. Deck seems cool, but, man, I'm just too dumb for it. What are you gonna do? YouTube folks, love you. Like, comment, subscribe. You're all great.